Okay, so hello there everybody. My name is Ashante Brown and I'm here from South Day One Voice Community Coalition and we are being joined by a very special guest. <laughs> Sitting next to me we have Kate Whitty who is the founder of the Elijah Network. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing quite well. Good. Good. <laughs> and can you tell me your inspiration for the Elijah Network? Okay, um, the inspiration for Elijah Network, I really feel like it was a, an absolute calling, um, that this was something that uh, God wanted me to do. Um, and I began getting, hearing Malachi 4, 5, and 6, and the last day says the Lord, I will send Elijah the prophet, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. I did not want to be smitten by a curse. <laughs> so I looked into it. Um, I was at that point at Christ Center School of Counseling and Addiction Studies, and we were training people to do addiction counseling. Um, my master's had been in um, infant intervention, which was for substance exposed infants. And I began looking into this, and at that point, a grant announcement came out from um, Department of Children and Families on the state level that wanted to test, um, that was 1997, okay. that wanted to test on a community level the university science-based prevention programs. Um, and so I wrote my first grant and got it. <laughs> and uh, we worked with University of Miami and Department of Children and Families and other agencies, other people doing the same thing um, in, in the state of Florida. And um, we tested Dare to Be You, which was a program for zero to two year olds. Cool, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. That's great. And later on, you established South Day One Voice Community College. Right, and we were teaching. We were teaching um, counselors, addiction counselors, and myself and a very good friend of mine and a student, Gloria Keith, um, broke away. And after the original grant, the research grant, we incorporated um, Elijah Network and uh, went from there. Cool. And so clearly she's been doing a lot <laughs> for a long time. And recently you established an epidemiology committee for South Day One Voice. Yes, and we had always had in, in the Tri-County area, in, in Miami-Dade and Broward and West Palm Beach, we had always had Jim Hall, who was mm -hmm. an absolutely wonderful epidemiologist, taught at, at Nova University, um, helped a lot of agencies. So I focused more on prevention and developing programs. Well, Jim has recently semi-retired and mm -hmm. is up in Virginia spoiling his grandchildren. <laughs> and uh, he still works, I think, for Broward. Um, and uh, he, but we need to have the ground floor neighborhood, South Dade, down to the street corner mm -hmm. kind of statistics. So we're working, we've got a, a wonderful, committee together. We've got uh, nurses and the um, police department and um, uh, National Guard mm -hmm. and we and people from other agencies. So we're excited about the people that will be looking at this and we're developing ways to do that kind of community assessment and really be able to track drugs, for instance, through HIDA, High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area. Um, we, uh, <clears throat> they, they will put out warnings and um, look at what is coming in to a certain area. For instance, Percocet at this point, there's been a shipment of Percocet. So oh, we would cool. know where that was being sold mm -hmm. and, and through the network that we've developed, we would be able to um, track where it was and help the police, help the community, help the schools track down drugs and thereby preventing drug abuse. How it's amazing work. And so for those who may not know, can you say what epidemiology is? I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the definition. <laughs> epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of health related conditions or events including disease and wellness in terms of people, place and time. 
In English. In English. <laughs> <laughs> it's an influencing or causal element or factor. So, for instance, um, there's an interesting his history of um, epidemiology in England. There was an, an outbreak of an infectious disease. Mm -hmm in a certain area and there was a professor who thought what is going on here well it turned out that the concentration of that disease was around a water pump so it had gotten into the water there when they changed that pump out mm -hmm. and fixed what was going on the epidemic ceased so they were able to stop an epidemic because they found the place mm -hmm. and the determinant of the infection and so that's something you all plan to do with that's the That's exactly it. That's exactly okay. it. That's really well. Yeah. And so basically, with the information you obtain, you'll be able to help the South Miami Dade community. Right. Okay. Right. And exactly. So you mentioned different people you plan to partner with. Mm -hmm. How exactly would you all obtain this information? Well, there's a lot of websites. For instance, Haida is mm -hmm. a good one. Um, the health department has websites. Um, Children's Trust used to, but they stopped doing it. Why? I don't know. It was wonderful. They, they would track things down to an area. Um, and then the personal interviews and door-to-door um, -door knocking mm -hmm. and, and uh, everything that we can possibly do to reach out and get that kind of data. Okay. And so with this being the first year, mm -hmm. what are some of the end results for just your first year starting out, had you planned For the changing? first year, okay, I would, we could get information into school counselors. Um, we, they don't know how to track, they don't know anything about HIDA. Mm -hmm. um, so we could see to it that that gets out there, um, develop some sort of training network so people get to know um, what drugs to look for and look for the signs and the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and then be able to publish a report on our website, um, hand it out at schools, at parks, mm -hmm. um, and be able to let people know this is what you need to look for. Okay. And so you mentioned partnering with the police department, mm -hmm. the National Guard, and nurses. Is this committee open to the public? Can anybody join? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that would be absolutely wonderful. We would love it for the community to get involved, for parents to get involved, and, and to help us with what they see mm -hmm. on the ground level. Um, we have a youth group um, that is funded through our Drug Free Communities program, uh, and be able to do focus groups with the kids, mm -hmm. and um, just get the information out on every level and every quadrant that we possibly can. Okay. So it's a lot of amazing work that you yeah. all have planning to do. Yeah. Wow, you're really excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. Yeah, we, we, did, we had our first meeting last month and I just went around the room and just asked people, why are you here? What, what do you want to see? And, and just the passion coming from the people and the caring coming from the people who were involved on this committee was mm -hmm. really inspiring to me. So, so yes, when do you I, all meet? To, we meet Friday at the West Perrine Community Center, mm -hmm. um, and we, the Epidemiology Committee meeting, will be after the general meeting. So it will be eh, 12 30, 1 o'clock. Okay. So for those who don't know, we have monthly coalition meetings the second Friday of every month from 11 30 to 1 p.m. at West Perrine Park. And so if you want to be a part of the yes. Epidemiology Committee, which we hope you do. Yes. They will be meeting after down. those. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anything else you would like to add in reference to this? In reference to this, yes. I think it's absolutely time that we get off the emotional roller coaster. People know what drugs do. We know mm -hmm. what drugs do to families, to individuals, to communities. Um, our photo voice group took pictures of high drug areas and they these were kids these were I should, and they should say kids high mm -hmm. school middle school kids that just absolutely they saw junk and, and homelessness all over the community and knew it was from drugs um, so if we get past the emotionalism and really start applying some facts mm -hmm. and some data 
um, I think it will be very helpful. That's amazing. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been Kate giving yes. us the scoop on the epidemiology. Kate and Ashante. <laughs> and Ashante about the epidemiology committee. And we really hope you want to join. If you want more information, you can always email us at info at ovccsd.org. And we'll be more than happy to get you joined. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and well, that's all from us. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye. <laughs>